right if loving you is wrong fans in this video um not a theory not anything like that a few weeks ago i remember making a poll on all my various social media accounts just asking the question all right we have if loving you is wrong finally returning after being gone for over a year what do you hope to see in the next season and pretty much this video is going to consist of the top five things that fans want to see in this upcoming season uh this is one of those videos where it's just going to be a bunch of if loving you is wrong pictures on the screen so you can just listen you don't have to look at the screen at all and not going to harp too long on some of these but then again some of them i might have to elaborate on just to get the point across but from starting number five of course we're going to work our way up to number one uh, number five is better acting, and I'm really just going to mention what I mentioned in my other video. I think it was the episode review for Randall Stage. Whenever uh, I talk bad about a character, I'm talking about the character, not the person portraying them. But with the better acting, I do see a lot of consistent complaints amongst fans in regards to how certain characters portray their roles like kelly or ian just to name a couple from loving you was wrong and i always say the same thing first of all i'm not someone who has experience in that field but either way it's like you can tell when a uh, actor is portraying a good or terrible performance but when it comes to me personally my thing is this i don't know if it's actually the person portraying said character or characters that should be blamed or if it's the person directing them because really they're working with the material they get, you know, and they're not the ones who decide what's the final take. Same thing if you want to make a comparison because I said this time and time again on my other channel, We Are The Flash. If you look at The Flash on the CW, personally speaking, I'm not the biggest Iris West fan, but I love Candace Patton, especially um, I remember her best for her role on the game on BET. So whenever I say I hate Iris West Allen, I don't hate Candace Patton. It's in regards to the character of Iris, who I feel has been given lousy material to work with. Not the acting, but in terms of a lack of character development, just being put into leadership roles she hasn't earned over characters who have way more experience than her. But sometimes, it, you know, it's bad when sometimes you can't even fault the character, not the actor, not the character, but like the writers and the people directing them. So when it comes to better acting, I just feel like sometimes, you know, instead of taking the first or second cut, maybe do a third or fourth one. Maybe just guide them a little more in terms of, you know, put some more emotion and make it more believable. But then again, those are just my two cents because a lot of people talk about the lack of consistent and good acting. Once again, these five items are the fans' picks. Number four. Actually, this one has actually climbed up the charts. Uh, justice for Kelly. And when I say justice, I don't mean her son. I mean justice for Kelly. Um, because I did a couple of polls to say, so what are your thoughts on Kelly surviving during the hiatus? Oh, there are a lot of people who wanted Kelly dead. I am not exaggerating. All my Love You Is Wrong videos, I hope she's gone. She's a dumb character. She's acting stupid. But as soon as she survived, it's like, I feel bad. She's been through a lot. I wanted to, you know, fight and come out on top. So, yeah. Uh, I definitely say that the love for Kelly has been out for it a lot. I mean, at least from the people in uh, social groups I looked at in terms of my online stuff. So, I've definitely seen a boost in Kelly's um, fan base, which is a good thing, which is definitely a step up from number five, where a lot of people's like, ah, just know the acting and blah, 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 blah. No, they want justice for Kelly. So that's number four. Number three. And this is something that actually is similar to the haves and have nots for what fans want. Karma to hit people. And when I say hit people, I mean like karma to come back on people like, Alex, Eddie, and Randall, just to name a few. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but based off all the episode synopsis we've gotten for the, you know, the first eight episodes of this season, it seems like all of Alex's lies are going to come back to haunt her, as well as all the bad dealings and trouble that Randall has caused. He's about to get his um, repercussions, you know, handed out to him th very handily. And with Eddie, he's going to get his ass beat next week. So that's going to be cool. So, yeah, number three, Karma. Number two, oh, man. This this really was going to be number one, but then number one beat it out, obviously. But 
absent characters returning. I mean, like Joey, Randall's mom, just to name a, uh, Julius, just to name three off the top of my head. Uh, a lot of these characters just disappeared. Or the last time we saw them, we didn't know it was the last. It, it's almost like, um, what was it, Judy on Family Matters? I think the last time we saw her was at Grandma Winslow's wedding. And then after that, she was just gone. Then on Happy Days, didn't, um, uh, what's his name's older brother just go up the stairs and we never saw him again? Yeah. So bring these people back. <laughs> and finally, number one, I, I don't think it's a surprise to anyone. Solving Alex's baby mystery right before recording this video. I finally finished recording the who is Alex's baby daddy or who is the father of Alex's baby. I haven't decided what I'm going to title it um, I'm not going to get into detail here in the video. I go into full detail in this video I just wanted to say that all these people want to know who is the father of the baby. Is it the right baby? Is it Randall's baby? Is it Brad's baby? Is it someone else's baby? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see so with that being said those are the top five things that fans want to see from Loving You Is Wrong. Uh, at the time of this recording, I do believe it has been stated that if Loving You Is Wrong has moved from Wednesday at 10 to Tuesday at 10, I will be doing a video covering that. Apparently, we got an extended trailer of next week's episode, so I need to watch it a couple of times, get the screenshots, break it down, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. So with that being said, let me know if there was anything in this top five list that didn't make the cut, but you feel is something that you want to see and we should see in this upcoming or this current season of Love You Is Wrong. And guys, you know the drill. I'm not going to harp on it. Subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and share this video around. And guys, as always, have a great day. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.